Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the math app um, PhotoMath. Uh, PhotoMath um, says it's able to um, solve mathematical expressions. So I have a mathematical expression right here and we are going to see if it will solve this problem. And this is in one of my Japanese math textbooks and I'm using this instead of an English math textbook only because I do not feel like going down to my basement to um, retrieve one of those. So I have right here my iPhone and I have already downloaded the app to my iPhone and you can see here you have um, little red corners to um, create a rectangle so that the math problem can expression can be contained inside of this rectangle. So what I'm going to do is simply take this image and it calculated it pretty quickly. So now I want to see if it's going to actually give me my steps. And so you have this button here that um, will allow me to be able to see the steps. So let's take a look at that. Sorry. And so here's the problem and here are the steps. You can see the red is indicating what has what's here and then what is being multiplied and how the actions are taking place with the, um, the multiplication or the addition so that students can easily see the first, second, third step and so forth and ha make an easy connection between what has happened to what is happening within the problem. It does not skip any steps in solving the problem with the result listed here. So let's see if it can do another problem on this page here. Let's take a look at this expression here. Because again, you can't have anything inside of the box here other than um, the numbers you want it to calculate. So for this problem, I want these numbers here. Well, actually, I'm going to do this one instead. Oh. And there's the answer. So again, let's go down and click the button here and see the steps. This will not be able to do um, complicated problems, um, word problems. It will only be able to do um, some of the um, naked number problems. So um, there are actually some really good uses for this, um, but we also have to make sure that we're not giving our students um, just very simple basic questions and items to um, complete for homework. Um, we really do need to have more rich text problems um, for them to be able to utilize and if they're able to set the problem up and need something like this to help them um, go through the different steps to have a full understanding um, then that's something that we may need to think about um, ways to incorporate this tool into um, our instruction.